All right, let's hit our mats. So get to your mat, we'll get started. We're gonna start by lying down on our mats today. So once you come to your mat, you can take a seat. You can lie down on that mat for the opening position. Just a comfortable position. Letting everything go from this past week. Eyes can close, breath is deep. And if you're just joining us, I'm Zach from the Princeton Club in New Berlin, Wisconsin. Maybe you're joining us somewhere, another part of the country, another part of the world. Depending if some friends might have shared this practice with you this morning. So we're on our backs. Eyes are closed. Breath is deep. If you're watching the video, if you see me sitting up, that's just so I can communicate to you guys a little easier. So just please align your backs. Begin to feel the rise and fall of the belly with each breath. Maybe your hands are even placed on that lower belly, one on top of the other. Breathing in. And breathing out. Just this moment, just this breath. I have a reading for you guys to start off with our practice this morning. The reading is entitled Lighter. Let's all be a little bit lighter, a little bit kinder, a little bit more compassionate. Let's be a little bit lighter. Let's remember to keep looking for the light, even with canceled plans and schedules turned upside down. Let's remember all the things we do still have. Our families, our friends, sunny days, laughs to be shared, games to be played, books to be read, songs to be heard, and my favorite, smiles to be shared. Let's be a little bit lighter. Let's not forget to hold on tight to beautiful hope for all the brighter days that will come across this storm passes. Sending your extra love and light from my heart to yours today. As so we take that lighter feeling, as the burdens begin to wash away off our shoulders, chest, a little tight through the chest, maybe a physical tightness, it might be a little bit of anxiety, stress, worry, whatever we're going through, I invite you to let that go with each and every exhale. With the inhale, we breathe in this moment, with the exhale, we let that wash over us. Breath continues to wash us clean, to lighten that load. We're never designed to carry all of those burdens that we try to carry, that we think we need to control. It's an easier way we can drop those at our feet. It's no longer necessary to carry them. Lower belly. Expand up towards the sky as we lie on our backs. Relaxing to the face, down the spine, through each fingertip, through the hips, the glutes, the legs, all the way through the feet and the toes. And more rounds of breath as we lay in our stillness. Appreciating this moment we've been given. A little rounds of breath here in that stillness, in that quiet.
wiggle, finger, the toe, still in her back, spine, and that little wiggle, little movement, head dropping side to side. Finally, pulling the knees into the chest. Big squeeze. Shoulders pull out towards the mat. A little rock side to side. A few circles in one direction and then the other. Massaging the lower back, spine, sacrum. Bring some comfort to the body. Also recording this on another device as well. So if we ever lose the signal, no worries, I can always post that later. And coming back to center, pulling the knees in a little tighter, big squeeze. With a slight pinching sensation in the front of each hip. Legs, knees, feet side by side. And allowing that grip to release, soles of feet drop to the mat, knees face the sky. Give a stack of the knees above the ankles, palms come into the mat, flat fingertips reaching towards the heels. Inhale, lift the hips up, and bridge. Chin, just a slight tuck towards the chest, but not constricting the throat. If we like, we can interlace our fingers underneath us, rolling the shoulders under, pressing the outer edges of the hands into the mat and lifting the hips up a little higher. Make sure even when we're in a held posture, we continue to breathe, never holding or forcing the breath. That breath is our strength, our life, our passion. Engaging through the glutes, the core, activating a fire in the lower belly, that fire spreading towards the head and towards the feet. Inhale, lift the hips up a little higher. And then release the finger grip if we had that pumped back flat. Exhale, slowly lower back down, one vertebrae back into the at a time into the mat. Inhale, hips lift up. Pause and hit the top of that bridge. Exhale, slowly lowering back down, one vertebrae at a time. And then finding your own flow through that bridge and lower. Your breath is the guide. Inhale as you lift. And exhale as you lower back down. Moving slowly, we feel each vertebrae lift up off of the mat, one at a time, pausing at the top, and then exhale, slowly coming back down. If we like, we can add some hand arm movement into that bridge flow as we inhale, lifting the hips. The fingertips can reach to the sky, they can stop there, or they can come all the way back, back of the hands to the floor, reaching back through the fingertips, and we time that movement as we drop back down, hips and hands, come back to the mat at the same time. Continue with that flow, with or without the arms. So again, even if we're in different locations, a lot of power, a lot of energy, a lot of love and healing that goes on. We all practice together like we are right now. So it's such a blessing and honor to be with you here this morning. Or if you're viewing this video later, that love continues to circulate around our world, bringing us joy in a little bit of an uncertain time. Last time through, and lower the hips back down. 
pulling the knees back into the chest for that tight squeeze. And this time we open the legs up wide. Hands, arms inside the legs, hips lift up, happy baby. You can grab for the calves and shins, or reach for the outer edges of the feet, pulling down with that strong, firm grip. Keeping the elbows inside the knees, and then trying to lower any vertebrae back into the mat if they popped up off. One day, that whole spine flat to the earth. We'd like a little rock here in Happy Baby. We can find that. Two rounds of deep cleansing breath. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale up through the mouth. Breathing in. And out. Release that grip. Pull the knees back into the chest. We can rock him back and forth, gaining momentum so we can rock up to boat pose. So we come up to that boat. Let's say we came all the way forward too much, too quickly. We can experiment with that. If that rock feels good to us, let's do that a couple of times. And then eventually settling in to that boat. Heels can be on the ground for support. Heels can be lifted. Hands can be back behind the legs for additional support. Fingers forward or legs long. I'll keep my feet down so I can see all of your beautiful faces. Core strong and engaged. Breath deep. Even as we're reaching forward, trying to pull the shoulders back a little bit. Inhale, lift both arms up to the sky, and then take the right arm out, left fingertips reaching up, making an L shape with those arms. An L for love today. Loving ourselves, loving our neighbor, each other. Lifting up, other arm comes up. Big reach through the right fingertips to the sky, left fingertips to the side. Arm lifts back up, palms come down, lowering to heart center. And then we have an option. You can find soles of feet together and butterfly. Heels can be on the ground or we can keep the heels lifted, floating butterfly. Great way to open up the chest, front side of the shoulders, pull the shoulders back. Tighter and pull the heels to the midline of the body. Easier is to find that balance. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Again, this time six count inhale. Breathing in two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling out two, three, four, five, and six. Drop the heels. Outer edges of the feet to the floor. Heels about 18 inches from the body. Let's take our palms up, snaking underneath the legs. Body hangs heavy in a fold. So we might be more lifted in our flexibility. We might be down a little further. Fingertips just naturally curl. Not extending them, stick straight, not falling into a fist. Find a little wiggle here, side to side. A little gentle movement with the head and the neck. And then back to center, to stillness, to quiet. Deep round of breath again, six count. Breathing in two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling out five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. Chin comes to chest, shoulders roll back, head lifts. Then we take our legs long in front of us in staff pose. Walking the hips back several times, left and right. Toes pull back towards the shins. Hands gently rest underneath the shoulders. It's an active, engaged, strong posture. A lot of times during our day, we have more of that hunch forward, compressing through the chest, 
pouring into that heart, bringing that tightness, that anxiety, that stress. So we're really working on rolling the shoulders back, pressing the backs of the legs into the mat. Elbows soft. Each hand then takes a hand, space step back behind its fingers facing forward. Inhale, lift up, reverse plank. Toes pointing forward, hips lifting up to the sky. Instead of allowing the head to fall back, the head and neck stays in line with the rest of the spine. Soft gaze looking up towards the ceiling. Hopefully you're watching from somewhere warm. Maybe you're outside when you say look up at the sky, you're truly looking up at the sky. Deep breath in and out. Two more rounds of breath in that reverse plank. The exhale, lowering down. We cross our legs. We bring our hands forward, legs back behind us. All fours, hands and knees. Palms spread wide, each finger gripping into the mat, stacking wrists, elbows, shoulders, knees and hips. Tops of the feet to the mat. So we give the feet a little tap here to activate those feet. And then we find stillness and give a little extra press, feet into the mat. Deep inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, catch and drops down towards the chest. Head falls heavy. Little vertebrae pulling up to the sky. Inhale, cow. Chest opens up to the floor. Slight gaze forward and up. Exhale, cat. When ready, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then continue with your breath. Cat, cow, flow. One breath, one movement. Your breath is that guide. If you've taken my classes before, you probably recognize this shirt. I wear it all the time. It's my favorite yoga shirt. First of all, it fits well, contours for yoga. But it's also the message on it. The message simply says hope. It has a picture of our entire world on it. A friend of mine went on a mission trip where she went to 11 countries in 11 months. She spent one month in each country serving people, loving people, pouring into people. And that purple color is a color of healing. And that's what our world needs, not only on a physical level, but also mental, emotional, spiritual level as well. So we practice this morning, or whenever you're watching this video, with that word, hope. One more time, cat and cow. And then back to a neutral spine. Stepping the feet back. We're gonna find our plank. We found reverse plank before. So we drop the hips a little bit, we raise them up, we're trying to find that sweet spot. Where the core is engaged, the glutes are engaged. Options, a fist instead of palm flat, or forearms, elbows can be down to the mat if that feels better. And our wrist, making your practice work for you, modifying when necessary. Soft gaze looking down towards the mat. Two rounds of deep breath, breathing in, and out. Inhale, and exhale, hips lift back and up, down dog. Looking for a nice long stance, ears hanging between the biceps, hips lifting back and up. And we can take a look at our ribs. If you look at my wrist, I have a nice long line, top of hand, through wrist, through forearm. If you're looking down and you have more of a 90 degree angle, you need to keep lifting your hips back and up. You might need to lengthen your stance, walking the fingers forward or the feet back a little bit. Soften the upper back, soften the shoulders. Let the heels sink 
towards the earth. Anytime our head's hanging below our heart, it's an inversion. Blood rushes to the head, healing, comforting, nourishing the mind. So you might have found a little bit of that happy baby, and that forward fold from butterfly, or now and down dog. Anytime we feel that stress, that anxiety building, it's time to come to an inversion. Anytime during our day, whether we're at home right now, homeschooling, whether we're still at work, especially if you're at work, if your boss comes into your office and you're in a forward fold or ragged out, just tell them Zach gave you permission for a quick rest. Inhale, left leg lifts back up behind us, three-legged dog, reaching back through the toes, and then left foot steps forward in between the palms, low runner's lunge. We can always take blocks, any props, Tupperware, toilet paper rolls we mentioned on Tuesday. We give that little lift, we keep the spine long, and really extend back through the right heel as we breathe. Long line of energy to the back of the head, down the spine, and through that back heel. Next inhale, rising up, crescent lunge. We can always modify with a kneeling lunge, that knee to the ground, top of the foot to the mat. Inhale, lift up, exhale, chest expansion. Back of the hands trying to come together, chest, heart reaching forward. If you ever need a prop like a strap, we can always substitute a towel, a belt, a necktie. Preface that necktie, bow ties, that really gets you much length. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float the upper body above the leg. Reach forward through the fingertips. Strong body. Round of breath. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the hands down. Right foot steps forward, next to the left, body hangs heavy, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Reverse swan dive, sweep out, lift up, big reach to the sky, head falls back, back bend. Gauge through the glutes, press the hips forward, chest reaching up towards the sky. Trust your balance, weight back in the heels. Let the head really fall. No danger in that head falling off. I've never seen that happen in practice. Well, maybe once, but that was the exception. Keep reaching back. And most importantly, keep breathing. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Right foot steps back. Left leg back up behind us, three-legged dog. Option to bend that left leg. Drop it back over the right, stacking the hips in a twist. Soft gaze looking underneath the left arm. Back out of that twist, foot down, down dog. Forward to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Sweep up and through, cobra or up dog. Toes flip. Hips lift, back and up, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts back up behind us, three-legged dog, big reach. Drop the left heel a little bit more. And then right foot steps forward in between the palms. Low runner's lunge, pressing back through the left heel. Once again, try to get the spine long, extension through the leg and heel, diagonal line. A little trivia if you watched my Tuesday practice from three days ago. Does anyone remember what my shirt said on Tuesday? Another positive message, shirt, be the change. Each person has that capability, that capacity to be the change through their love, through their light. Inhale, we're ready, lifting up. Crescent lunge. Option again for that knee to be down. 
Press back to the heel. Any more of these static, strength building, holding postures to begin with. Which will be followed up by some flow. Shoulders stacked above the hips. Breath is deep. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, chest expansion. Come to that same posture as before. Or if we're able to, we can grab the hands interlacing the fingers, pulling the heels of the hands together, pulling back through the knuckles. This is also where we could grab a strap, a towel, pillowcase works as well. that grip if we found it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hover, float over the right leg, reaching through the fingertips. Strong body, open heart, calm mind, lighter, lifted, freed soul. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, drop the hands. Left foot steps forward to join the right. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, lower. Reverse swan dive. Sweep out, lift up. Big reach. Head falls back again. Back bend. Maybe looking for a new spot behind us. On the ceiling. The walls or towards the back of the room. Maybe for some of us, even the floor. That would not be me. Inhale, lift up, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Half lift, lower down. Left foot steps back, right leg back up behind us, three-legged dog. Option again to bend that leg, drop it back over the left. Stack the hips in the twists. Square the right armpit down towards the mat. Always engage that core. Out of that twist, foot steps down, down dog, forward to plank, lower down, chaturanga, elbows in tight, inhale, cobra up dog, toes flip, hips lift back and up, down dog, again, forward to plank, lower down, chaturanga, cobra through up dog, toes flip, hips lift back and up, down dog. Float forward, drop to the knees, child's pose. Hips fall back, forehead down to the mat. And breathe. Each inhale, the length and energetic healing spine. Exhale, hips fall back towards the heels. Find several rounds of breath here in your child's pose. Fantastic work so far. First part of our practice. Teach yourself that it's okay to take that time to find that rest. We try to be so many things, so many people, so many situations, different groups that we might volunteer with or for. But you need to take a little time for you to fill up that cup so you can be your best. We're no good to anyone for running empty. So today we fill up that cup and we lighten that load, those burdens we all try to carry. So we're filling up with that good stuff. And we're letting go of the unnecessary. Two more rounds of breath in child's pose. Breathe in it. and out. Lifting back up, all fours, hands and knees. Once again, stacking wrist, elbow, shoulder, knees and hips. Spinal balance, 
reach back through the right heel, pressing back through that heel, toes reaching down to the ground. Left fingertips reach forward, palm open, soft gaze looking down towards the mat. And reminder, if you joined us in this live practice after it already started, no worries, the conclusion of this practice, the full video will be available to you online on Princeton Club New Berlin's Facebook page. We're also putting all these videos together for you guys, all the workout videos in one folder on our YouTube page. So there'll be more information coming on that. Stretching forward, reaching back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow, knee, touch, squeeze through the core. Inhale, lengthen, we're going to take a diagonal, left arm out to the left, right leg out to the right. There's kids and families doing this practice. I envision some kids being silly, maybe falling over a little bit. Back to center, reaching forward and back. Exhale, elbow, knee, squeeze. One more time, lengthening up, find the diagonal. Left arm left, right leg right. Feel that stretch across the core. And then back to center. Hand, knee, back to the mat. Second side, left heel presses back, right fingertips reach forward, and we hold. After this practice, as we conclude, if you're joining us from somewhere other than Milwaukee, Wisconsin area, please check in, let us know where you're listening from, where you're tuning in from, practicing from. See how many places we can spread that love, that joy we're trying to build, create today. How far we can reach that out around the world. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Elbow, knee. Holding tight, engaging through the core. Inhale, lengthen. We'll find that diagonal again. Right arm, right. Left leg, left. Everything engages and strong. Back to center, exhale, elbow, knee, squeeze, inhale, lengthen, exhale, diagonal, inhale, lengthen, hand, knee, drop, step back to plank, hips lift back and up, down dog. We're moving through our full sun salutations now, this first day of spring, full day, equinox. So we breathe, we experience, we move, we flow. Feet, walk, or step forward, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, lower. Reverse swan dive. Sweep up, lift up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, lower down. Hands come down, feet step back to plank. Lower down, bend the arms. We can always drop to the knees as well to control. Chaturanga, sweep up and through. Cobra, up dog. Toes flip, hips lift back and up, down dog. A couple more times together, feet to the top of the mat. If you fall behind, no worries. Flow at your own rate. Half lift, lower down. Sweep up, lift up tall. Exhale, swan dive, flat back, forward fold. Half lift, and lower, hands down, feet back to plank, knee leaner lifted, <clears throat> lower down, chaturanga, sweep up and through, toes flip, down dog. One more time together, feet forward, half lift, and lower, reverse swan dive. Exhale, let the chest lead the way. Look forward to the last possible moment. Round down. Half lift. Lower down. Feet back to plank. Last time moving together before we flow on our own. Lowering down. Sweep up and through. Toes flip. Down dog. So we'll all step together and then we'll move on our own for the next minute or so. If you found the movement you're looking for, 
you're content with that movement, simply find child's pose where we'll all eventually meet. I'll continue to flow on my mat. So if you're just joining, if you want to take a look at what those sun salutations look like, feel free. This next time I come through, I'll show that modification, what that might look like, dropping the knees. From that modification, we'll work our way back to plank. We'll drop to the knees, tops of feet to floor, and then we'll lower down. Instead of coming to that full up dog, we might just come right here to cobra. That's what that cobra would look like. Belly button on the mat, elbows pulling tight. And maybe that down dog doesn't work for us on that cobra. So we can always just begin to lower down, press back, so about a half child's pose, and then come back to our down dog. So just an option for looking for that little bit of comfort, that other modification this morning. Two more times through, if we're still flowing, if we're comfortable in our child's pose, we wait there with patience. And we're back to appreciating the moment we've been given the blessing. Body really warming up now from the breath from the movement. You know that heart beating strong. Every day we wake up, we take that first fresh, rich breath in the day. Another sign that there's more life to be lived for us, more for us to do in this world. Make your way to child pose. Back to that breath. Deep, full belly breath, filling up the lungs like a six-sided box, expanding them towards the sides of the mat, towards the front and back, and towards the earth, and towards the sky. A few rounds of breath here, and child's pose. Round and deep, full cleansing breath. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Slowly rise up. Walk the feet back to plank. Hips lift back and up, down dog. And then begin to walk the hands back towards the feet. So we come into a forward fold at the back of our mouth. If we like, rag down, grabbing the opposite elbow with each hand, letting that sway side to side if you figure eight in one direction and then the other. And then back to center. Round of breath. Exhale, release deeper into that fold. If we had the grip on the elbows, release. Slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Shin to chest. Shoulders roll back, head lifts, eyes closed, mouth pose. A little sway here, side to side, circles. If you've been craving online Zumba, this is your shot right here to get it done. And then after exploring, finding that movement, come to stillness. Return to quiet and your breath. Standing tall, confident, strong in this moment. Palms spread wide, facing forward. Next inhale, arms sweep up wide. Lifting up tall, exhale, chair pose. Hips fall back, fingers reach forward. Try to get those legs one day, those thighs, quads, parallel to the floor. 
If not, perfect place to be right here, a little more lifted, halfway in between, or a little further, closer to parallel. This next transition, we're going to imagine, is a string attached to our left knee. As we rise up out of that chair, that left knee lifts up, finding balance, and then a big step forward with the left foot. We begin to hinge forward, warrior three. So that right leg lifts up a little higher, closer to parallel. We turn the hip down to face the earth. So letting me a hand on that glute, manually turning it. You can always find our props if we have them. Hands can be at heart center. Fingers can reach behind us. Airplane arms from the side or forward through the fingertips. Continue to find that balance. Just checking in, saying hi. Hope everyone's doing well yet. So we're finding that flight. Warrior three. Might be thinking, is Zach taking a break? Maybe I'm used to taking a break when I teach normally, walking around the room a little bit. We can always come out of it, find a moment, and then return back to that flight. So experimenting a little with your balance this morning. Standing back through that heel. And then right foot steps back, left joint, palms touch, hands lower, heart center. Arms drop at her side, mountain pose. Deep breath in. If you're holding force in that breath, we let that go again. Next inhale. Arms sweep out wide, lifting up tall, big reach of the sky. Exhale, back to chair, back to building that strength. Hang out here for a little bit in that chair. Begin to picture that string attached to the right knee. Sink the hips down and breathe. That string begins to lift the knee as we lift up out of the chair pose. Big step forward with the right foot. Begin to hinge. Hands can always come to the ground, blocks, props for support. And then any of those hand placements we spoke of before. Find breath. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy this breath. And we wobble a little more on one side than the other. About bringing those two sides closer to center to balance. Two more rounds of breath. And then stepping that left foot back, right joints, palms touch, hands lower, heart center, arms drop down, mountain pose. Deep six count round of breath. Breathing in two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling out five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms sweep up, lifting up. Swan dive, forward fold. Half lift and lower. Hands walk back forward to a plank. Lower down with strength, Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Toes flip, down dog. Round of breath, breathing in. And out. Inhale, left leg lifts back up behind us, three legged dog. Left foot steps forward between the palms. Low runner's lunge. Right foot drops, heel outer edge to the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Left fingertips forward, right behind. Sink and drop the hips down. Right hip back, left knee out. And then playing with that depth a little bit. A lot of times in our warrior two, we have a tendency to kind of lean the body forward as we sink that front leg. But we need to bring that body back, shoulders, 
above hips. Breathing in and breathing out. Left leg goes long, left palm to the sky, exhale, reverse warrior. But with two long legs, making a long diagonal line through the foot, shin, knee, quad, hip, torso, shoulder, elbow, wrist, out through the fingertips. Keep the body in one plane. Find your breath. Inhale back to warrior two. So we're going to bend back into that front leg. We're going to find a side angle. You can find supported. Lifting up through the right fingertips. Great place to be. Or that arm can drop down. Fingertips brushing a prop or the floor, elbow pressing to the inside of the leg and knee, opening up the hip. Okay, those two arms and one line, fingertip to fingertip. Perfect place to stay here. If we'd like, we can find the bind. Dropping the right arm back behind us. Left fingertips reach underneath and through, connecting the fingertips or using a strap, towel, tie, belt, pillowcase. To connect, just an option. Remember, do the practice that works best for you. Keep pulling the right shoulder back. Slight glance up to the sky. Round of breath. Exhale. Releasing. Coming back up to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. And then we slide our hands down. Framing the foot, pivot to the right toes, left foot stays forward, and from this position, we're going to work our way into pigeon. So left heel begins to work itself to the right side of the mat. Once it's there, we slowly drop that left knee, right knee, top of right foot to the mat. If you have a way that works for you to get better, that gets you into pigeon posture, a more efficient, appropriate way, please take that. So we really want that heel out. If we come down too far and that heel is all the way back towards the body, kind of like in a one-legged child's pose. So we're not getting that benefit of the open hip, the open glute. So we can stay lifted, great place to be. For said, elbows, blocks, prop, floor. We can stack the fists, forehead, Two top fists. Just this moment, just this breath. Hip, largest joint in the body. Glutes, largest muscle in the body. Here we carry a lot of our stress, our anxiety, our tension. So we melt into that side. We go too far. You can always come out looking for a nice stretch, release, pushing into that edge a little bit, but never coming to the point of major discomfort or pain. Two more rounds of deep breath, the side pigeon. Building back into the hands. Right toes stick into the mat. Right knee lifts. Left leg back up behind us. Foot steps down. Down dog. Walk that out. Blood flow returning back. To the left hip. The knee. Healing those areas. Breaking up past scar tissue. Healing injury. And ready for that second side. Right leg lifts back up behind us, three-legged dog. Right foot steps forward in between the palms, low runner's lunge. Left heel drops, inhale, warrior two, second side. Sink and drop the hips. Right knee up. 
Left hip back. Shoulders stacked above those hips. Maybe I can't see you right now, but I can feel you. You're looking good right now. You're looking strong, grounded, powerful in this moment. Or maybe you're just looking at your screen right now thinking, that's me right there, except I'm way taller and I have a lot less hair than I used to have. So I'd be more than happy to give you some of that height. You can give me your secret to growing some hair. Front leg goes long, right palm to the sky, reverse. We're going to find that long diagonal line again with two long legs, all the way through the torso, out through the fingertips behind us. One more, reach back, long extended line. Inhale, back to warrior two. We drop into that front leg, into the right. Right forearm, down. So that's our supported side angle. Great place to be if we're right here. Use the elbow of the forearm to move that right knee out a little bit. If we like dropping down, fingertips. The prop, block, floor. And if we're all the way down, use that elbow, open up the hip, press it inside of the knee. Option to extend the arm as well. And then extended length and side angle. If we found that bind before, left arm drops behind us, right arm sneaks underneath and through, we find that connection. Or we don't. Check your right toes if you're in that bind. They start curving to the inside of the mat. Walk those back up. Mind did. Checked it. Corrected it. One more round of breath. We had that bind. We release. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands windmill down, freeing in the foot, pivot left toes, pigeon. Second side, right heel walks over towards the left edge of the mat. We slowly bring the left knee, top of left foot down, right knee follows. And maybe we don't have a complete right angle with the thigh coming into the shin. Maybe it's back a little bit, but we work that heel out as much as we can. We give a little extra press, top of left foot into the mat, and then we begin to lower down. Where we need to be, the side might look very different than the last, so if that's the case, no worries. Breathing in, and breathing out. Exhaling out the need to control, breathing in the opportunity to contribute to our situation, to our surroundings, pouring into that world with hope, preparing ourselves, getting ready to be the change. Having breathed in hope, pouring out into the world, being that change. Last rounds of breath. One more together. Six count, inhale, breathing in two, three, four, five, six, exhaling up, five, four, three, two, one, we begin to build back into the hands, if you're on forearms and elbows, palms plant, arms lengthen. Left toe stick into the mat, the knee lifts up, right leg way up behind us. Foot steps down, walk it out left and right down dog. 
We find one last posture or return to our mats and our backs. Where we begin, we're going to walk our hands a little closer together at the top of our mat. We're going to step the right leg up wide outside the right hand, and then the left foot follows outside the left hand. So we can be right here. We want to keep all of our weight back into the heels. So if we come down a little further and the heels lift up, we've gone too far. So if we're right here, perfect place to stay, hands on a prop, on the floor. If we can keep those heels grounded, we can continue to sink back into a full yoga squat. Great way to open up through the spine, the hips, the knees, Achilles, the ankles. Great posture for finding release. Elbows can give a little press inside the knees. Opening up the hips further. If our heels are lifted, no worries. We just lift the hips up till the heels drop. Yoga, lifelong practice, a journey. We can stay right there. If we'd like to try that arm balance crow that we spoke of before practice began, here's your shot. Hands come down. You've got that cushy carpeting hopefully in front of you. So the first part is just putting, placing the knees on the triceps above the elbows. You can stay right there, maybe just lifting one foot, then the other. If you'd like to go a little further, lifting both feet up off of the ground. Finding balance, I'll turn to the side so it's a little easier to see. That position of knee on tricep, soft gaze, looking down towards the earth. The headstand is part of your practice too. You can bring the head down, you begin to extend the legs up to the sky. Whenever you're ready, you come out, drop to the knees, no rush, legs crossed behind, seated, and then inching our way down to the earth where we close our practice on our mats, on our backs where we began, getting any last movement wiggle out of our body. Head moving side to side a few times. Maybe shifting the hips a little to find our grounding where it needs to be. And a deep round of breath together, breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, breathing in. And exhale. All of you watching online or recorded video, remain on your backs. So if you see me and seated, just stay where you're at, on your mats, flat on your back, finding that grounding. For some reason, if being on your back isn't comfortable though, that seated option works great too. But either way, our eyes are closed, our breath is deep. We appreciate this moment we've been given. Coming back to that reading one last time, entitled Lighter. Let's all be a little bit lighter, a little bit kinder, a little bit more passionate. Let's be a little bit lighter. Let's remember to keep looking for the light even when canceled plans and schedules turn upside down. Let's remember all the things we do still have. Our families, our friends, sunny days, laughs to be shared, games to be played, books to be read, songs to be heard, and smiles to be shared. Let's be a little bit lighter. Let's not forget to hold on tight to beautiful hope for all of the brighter days that will come once this storm passes. Sending you extra love and light from my heart to yours today.
take this time and breathe to have a relaxed body, an open heart, a calm, still mind, and a light, lifted, unburdened soul. Take this time and breathe. Bring you out of this rest, the Shavasana, in a few minutes. Begin to wiggle the fingers, the toes, bringing sensation back to the body, the back, line the head, fall side to side. If you'd like, taking a full body stretch, reaching back behind us, our mats, fingertips. The back of our space, toes can reach forward towards the front of our mat. And then every arm we'd like, we pull that arm in. We roll over that side, using our arm like a pillow. We take a couple of rounds of deep breath on that side. And then returning to a comfortable seated position. Simple cross, half lotus. Shoulders roll up, back, and down, away from the ears a few times. And then we bring our palms to heart center where we close our practice. And we have faith hope in the future and what's to come, those brighter days, and know that when we come out of this practice moving forward, that we can in fact be the change. Blessings on your day. Namaste. Thank you very much for your practice, your love, your presence here this morning, and if you're watching this practice uh, later on, record it, whenever that you view that wherever you are, for those journeys take you. Thank you for joining us very much today.